Grinders and grind that's what's happening. It's your boy the Black Abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate y'all motherfuckers for it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for your boy too. Uh, what we're gonna talk about today is some shit a couple of motherfuckers sent me today, uh about um Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams. Uh I'm familiar with Portia because uh once upon a time I actually watched the show um with a particular person I was talking to at the time. I used to watch it. it was when she first started. She was dating Cordell Stewart, um, who was an ex football player, and he was like um secretly gay or something like that, or down low. Needless to say, they wind up getting divorced. And then uh I stopped watching the show, honestly. Uh but you know, I see her in the news from time to time. Uh but she was in the news recently and trending on Twitter because she is dating or engaged to a cast member that was on the show this season um that she's she's engaged to a guy that a cast member that was on the season was married to so it was a cast member a new cast member or a cast member named Fallon or whatever her name is on the show this season she was married to this guy by the end of the season or towards the middle of the season her and this guy wind up breaking up so now Portia is engaged to this guy uh, when I hear he got some bread, and uh, a lot of people were dragging her, and um, I want to know, does this violate girl code? That's my question to females that might watch it. Does this violate girl code? Like, I want to know. I want to know what you think. Um, do I think if I, if that wasn't her friend, and that's what she's stating now, like it wasn't really her friend. I guess. I guess she was saying that. The friendship was made up for TV, which they do. You know, they make up scenarios for the cast members and whatnot. So, if the the situation was like that, I still think it's violating girl code, like because in in this, and fellas, if you're watching this, or ladies, if you're watching this, um, you ever you you ever been in a relationship with a guy? He he is like all guys got their shit with him, but. For the most part, he doing everything he need to do. He hire, he go to work, he busts his ass, make sure your needs are, are are met. Shit, you might even be a stay at home mom or whoever. You know, depending on what the situation is, you got a good dude, and then you got your friend who's not bad looking, but she can't keep a man, or maybe she is bad looking, but whatever the situation is, she can't keep a man. And you call her for advice, or she got something to say whenever you. You know, say the little spats you and your boyfriend do get into. So you'll call her and she'll give you her advice. That friend is looking at your man. No matter what you might think, oh, my friend would never... Any chance given, she will fuck your man. She might have tried to fuck him already. And fell, a lot of fellas out here can attest to this. And I know I'm giving too much game, but... They're looking at your man. They're seizing the opportunity. They're going to try to do something they know you don't do and present that. Yes, it's females out here like that. And I'm not saying all females, but there's some females out there like that that will seize the opportunity they can and will try to take what you got. They will try to take your happy home and make it their happy home. It's a fact. I didn't seen it. You seen it. You witnessing it now. Whether Portia was friends with this girl or not, it was at some point they were they interacted with each other. They knew each other. This man was introduced. So some point during this time where they broke up, Portia and this man had to come in contact with each other to even spark up anything. And shout out to him. He a player. Hey, man, he saw what he wanted and he got it. And a lot of times, they do these for storylines. This is all for a storyline for next season. Or from what I hear, she's getting her own show. She might be the highest paid cast member now since Nene isn't there. I think she's been on the longest. Maybe Kenya. I don't know. And yes, I know Kenya's still on her because she. I was reading that, when I was reading up on this, Kenya uh, commented on it. And they were trending on Twitter yesterday. Uh, Kenya was trending because 
she had kept having to say shit about Portia. So that's how I'm abreast what was going on. Twitter. Shout out to Twitter. Um, but yes. It's a violation. Whether it's your friend or not friend. The fact that y'all knew each other and y'all at some point was in the vicinity of each other. Like, it's just like this. Like, say... Say you say you and your say you and your man's is cool and shit, right? You go to your man's house and he got his man over there. You and that man, you and that nigga ain't really too cool like that. Y'all know each other though, but y'all not tight. You bring your girl over or whatever. Your girl break up with you, or you and your girl break up. Next thing you know, she engaged to that nigga. The nigga you're not cool. Not your man, man, but the nigga. You gonna be like, yo, this what the hell? This shit weird as hell. And not saying he owe you nothing. But it's like, yo, if that's your man, did you know about, you know what I mean? It just works in a circle. Like, like, hold on. Did you know about this? Because how? You get what I'm saying? So that's why I say it's girl code violation. And the simple fact, if that was the story on the show, that y'all were friends, now you denouncing it? Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it just look weird, man. But at the same time, man, you gotta live your life. You can't, you can't live your life thinking whatever. If if she happy and they happy, then shit. Shout out to them. Sometimes this is how it works out, man. That's another equation too. Sometimes these friends is is set up for for your your destination. Like that's for your future. You get what I'm saying, like. These friends will, um, people come in your life and might be with somebody else, but that person they would is, might be intended for you all along. And they were just a bridge for you guys to meet. And yeah, it might suck, it might hurt, but at the same time, you can't sacrifice your happiness, no matter how, no matter at the... <laughs> No matter how much it might hurt somebody else, your happiness is your happiness. You know what I'm saying? It might come at the um, it might hurt some feelings. So it's a different, it's a bunch of different ways you could look at it. But I'll leave it up to you, you guys. Aside, post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Do you think she violated girl code, fellas? Have you ever been in a situation like this? Peace.